sports fans and baseball fans, I'm here today with the first game of the 2005 World Series. The World Series in this world is going to be between the 2005 Astros, who defeated the St. Louis Cardinals, as they did in real life. But they'll be playing the Los Angeles Angels, who they, uh, who actually lost to the White Sox in real life, but uh, won in, I believe it was seven games in my replay. So we're going to have the Angels and the Astros, and I recently got a bunch of uh, uh, the baseball guys, the baseball guy, a bucket of baseball guys, and that came with the scoreboard. I really wanted the scoreboard, but I figured, you know what, let's do it with the baseball players as well, because that would be kind of cool, and I like the setup. You can see we got the umpire, we got all the angels in the field. Uh, they will be the home team. You can see right here, there's the scoreboard, and... Uh, we pan out we can see that you've got the players I'm gonna to try to do this by uh, the moving cam like moving the camera around while I'm playing the game so we'll see if that works um, but anyway let's let's get on with the game you got the uh, batter at the plate uh, the Astros will be the blue team and of course the Angels will be the red team even though the blue team is in white and the red team is in gray and the angels are at home still the guys are red so i figured that was a, probably a better a better option to use so that's how we're going to do it um and the first batter for the astros and actually i guess i'd better get the lineups and show them to you so we're going to do that. Here is the Astros lineup. You got Willie Tavares in center field leading off. Craig Biggio at second. Berkman at first. Morgan Ensberg at third. Jason Lane in right. Bagwell at DH. Bagwell making his first appearance of this postseason. But with the DH, I figured this is a good time to have him in. Palmero in left field. Osmus at catcher and Everett at shortstop. And Oswalt will be pitching for the uh, Houston Astros. And then for the Angels, you're going to have Sean Figgins leading off, playing third base. Then uh, Garrett Anderson in left field. Vlad Guerrero in right. Benji Molina at catcher, batting cleanup. Casey Kochman at first. Adam Kennedy at second. Uh, Juan Rivera at DH, Orlando Cabrera at short, and Steve Finley in center, and John Lackey will be the pitcher. And I don't know how the rest of the series is going to be for DH, but I did look, and the actual 2005 World Series did start in Chicago, and there was a DH. So I don't know if they're going to alternate back and forth uh, between National League and American League uh, parks and use that rule use the rule of the park or whether this was a deal in 2005 where it was an alternate year they alternated um, DH and non DH and th this was a year that they had the DH I don't know so anyway um, Willie Tavares at the plate and we're going to roll the dice And he gets a 4-6, and 4-6 on a John Lackey will be a strikeout. So um, he is out, and the next batter is Craig Biggio. Hard to do this with one hand. That is a 5 and a 5, and a 5-5 five, five on Lackey is a strikeout. They're going to make it easy on me. And uh, let me uh, get the next guy. The next guy is going to be Lance Berkman. Nobody reaching base yet. And that is a 10. 
and a 410, a 410 is going to be a fly ball center field X and it is a roll of 10 on the dice and the center fielder and that is an out so that is going to be it for the Anger for the Astros in the first inning. Astros are in the field and we have Sean Figgins leading off for the Angels. And he gets a 1-6 uh, and that is going to be a single. So Sean Figgins will we'll put him over here at first base as the base runner and that brings to the plate. Uh, he's a, you know what? He's a double A. I'm going to try to steal second. 16. That might just be a thrown out. Let's see. Uh, the catcher is Osmus. And uh, he is a zero arm. So actually, Sean Figgins makes it to second. So, uh, with Sean Figgins at second, the next batter is um, the next batter is Garrett Anderson, and he gets a five eleven. Five eleven on the pitcher um, Oswald is a walk. So you got another base runner. For the Angels at first base if he can stand up and uh, that brings to the plate Vlad Guerrero and he gets a 6-2 on Oswald that's gonna be a fly ball right field B so nobody advances and there is one down and the next guy is Benji Molina. Molina gets uh, 6-11 on Oswald's card. That's a fly ball to right. And that's a roll of six, which is going to be a fly out. So there's two down. And the next one is Casey Kochman. And Casey Kochman gets a 6-10. Oswald's card and that's going to be a ground ball to second base and that is going to be It for the Angels. They had two men on but they did not score anybody So as you can see we're back and uh, the Angels are in the field and you can see the second inning. It's 0-0 zero, zero. And the first batter for the Houston Astros this particular inning is going to be Jason Lane. Or no, Morgan Ensberg. Morgan Ensberg is the first guy. Seven, four, seven, and that is going to be on uh, Lackey's card is a walk. So now the Astros have a base runner. That is Ensberg. The next guy is um, Jason Lane. Jason Lane gets a 6-7. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Angels is a I believe a two and that is a three and I think that's going to be something that's going to be an on base no it isn't no it's an out one so the base runner advances to second the Astros have a man at second with one down and now they have Jeff Bagwell up making his first appearance of the postseason he gets a four eight that is going to be a single one to 11 and it is a single and it advances the runner to third base and they have another base runner. Now the Astros have runners at the corners with only one out. 
And the next batter is Orlando Palmero. And he gets a 5-8. Five, 5-8 eight. Five, eight on Lackey's card is going to be... That's going to be a single double asterisk. So our run scores. So we're going to move the uh, run. They've got one run. And uh, the next batter is Osmus. Osmus with runners still at the corners. That is a 1-8. And that's going to be a double play. Shortstop, double play. The Angels had the infield back. But another run does score. And it is 2-0. And uh, that is the end of the inning. So we will... Come back for the bottom of the second inning. They're in the bottom of the second now with the Angels up and they're down 2 nothing to the Astros. And the first batter will be Juan Rivera. And he gets a 1-6, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So there's one down. Next batter is Orlando Cabrera. He gets a 3-9, and that is a single. So the Angels have a base runner. Whoa. And uh, Steve Finley is going to be the batter now. Steve Finley with a man on and one away. And that is a 4-5 on Oswald's card. And it's going to be a strikeout. So there is two away. And that brings us to the top of the lineup again, and uh, Sean Figgins. And he gets a 6-3. Six, 6-3 three. Six, three on Oswald's card. He's a first base C, and that will retire the inning, and we are going to go to the top of the third. All right, we're in the top of the third inning, and the uh, Astros have a 2-0 lead, and they are back at the plate. There will be Craig Biggio. And he gets a 2-8, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. One away. Next batter is Lance Berkman. He gets a 4-12 on Lackey's card. That's ground ball shortstop. Their shortstop is a 2. That is a 17, and he is out. There's two down quickly. And that brings Lance Berkman to the plate. Wait a minute. No, that brings uh, Morgan Ensberg up. And he gets a 1-5. And he has a double. So Morgan Ensberg is aboard with a double. He's out at second base looking to move to third. And Jason Lane is up. And Jason Lane gets a 1-7 and that is going to be a strikeout and that is going to end the inning. All right, we are now in the bottom of the third inning. It is still 2-0 Astros and... The uh, Angels are at the plate, so we'll put a batter in place. And that batter is going to be Garrett Anderson. And 
and he gets a 1-6, and that is going to be a line out to second base. So he's out. Next batter is Vlad Guerrero. That is a 3-7, and that's going to be a fly ball to left, and there's two down quickly. And the next batter is Benji Molina. And Benji Molina gets a 4-6 off of Oswald. That is a strikeout. And the Angels go quickly there. All right, we are now in the top of the fourth inning. Still 2-0 Astros, as you can see by the scoreboard. Get a good look at the field. And we are going to have the next batter for the Houston Astros. Leading off the fourth is going to be Jeff Bagwell. And he gets a 6-8 on Lackey's card. That is going to be a single. So we have another base runner. And actually, I believe that makes Bagwell 2 for 2 today. Playing in his first game of the postseason. Orlando Palmero is up. He gets a 1-8. That's going to be a ground ball to first double play. So there's going to be two down now with nobody on all of a sudden. And the next batter is Brad Osmus. And that's going to be a 1-7 on Osmus, which is a single, and there's another base runner. And uh, up steps Adam Everett. Adam Everett gets a 4-3. Lackey's card. Left field X. That is a 19. And the left fielder for the Angels is a 3. 19 and 3 might be a roll again. And it is. And that is a 10 and a 3. That might not be good. Oh, but it is. It's an out, out 5. And so the Astros are retired in the 4th inning. And we will go to the bottom of the 4th. And the Angels trying to get 2 runs somewhere to tie the game. Alright, we are now in the bottom of the 4th. Angels down 2 nothing, And the batter is Casey Kochman. And he gets a 5-7. Five, 5-7 seven. Five, seven on Oswald's card. is a ground ball to second base. He is a 3. The second baseman for the uh, Astros, though, is Biggio. And he is not a good defensive second baseman. So that's going to be something. 3 and a 4 is going to be a single. So the Angels do have a man at first base. And that brings Adam Kennedy up with one on and no out. He gets a 1-7. That is going to be a ground ball B. And so now Kennedy is aboard. And he is an A stealer. He's going to try to steal second and he makes it. Man at second with only one out. And Juan Rivera up. And he gets a 110. And that is going to be a ground ball shortstop A. They just barely avoided that double play that would have ended the inning. And up steps Orlando Cabrera. The shortstop. And he gets a 5-6. Oswald's card. And that is a strikeout. And the Angels get nothing in the fourth. So we are now headed to the top of the fifth. Astros ahead 2-0 still. And Willie Tavares is the batter at the plate. And he gets a 1-8. And that is going to be a strikeout. So Willie Tavares goes down on strikes from Lackey. Next batter is Craig Biggio. He gets a 3-6. That is going to be a double. 
Craig Biggio aboard at second base with one down. Lance Berkman up. That is going to be a 310. That's a walk. So just like that, they have two. The Astros have two base runners with only one out. And Morgan Engberg. And he gets a 5-6. And that is a strikeout. Lackey strikes him out for two down. And Jason Lane is up. Jason Lane with 35 home runs this uh, particular year. No, 26. 26 home runs. He gets a 4-4. Four, four. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Yeah, second baseman. And that will retire the Astros. They got two on. But they did not score another run. And it's uh, still 2 nothing. We're going to the bottom of the fifth now with the score still 2 0. Hasn't changed. And Steve Finley is the batter. And that is a 5 9 on Oswald's card. And it is going to be a home run by Steve Finley. Steve Finley hits a home run. He had 12 that year. So we will just have him run around the bases. And it's two to one. We will adjust the score. And the Angels pull closer. And that brings to the plate Sean Figgins. Wouldn't expect the same kind of fireworks from Sean Figgins, but we'll see. 5-5, five, five, strikes out. So that's one down. And the next batter is Craig Biggio. Or no, it's uh, Garrett Anderson, wrong team. 6-8 is going to be a double. So the Angels have a, have a man at second. They've already scored a run. There's only one out in the inning. And Vlad Guerrero is up. And he gets a 1-5. And that's going to be a jack. Home run. So we'll just make him run around the bases. And the Angels get two more runs and they take the lead. Still in the fifth, so we don't want to adjust that. But it is three to two now, with the Angels taking the lead on the Guerrero homer and Benji Molina up. And that is a four nine. And that's going to be a single, and all of a sudden Oswald is just falling apart here. And Casey Kochman's up. And he gets a 2-7. And that's a walk. This is crazy. Now, now Oswald can't even get an out, it doesn't seem. Although he does have one this inning. They're going to hope for the double play here with Adam Kennedy up. And he gets a 4-7. Which is a... That's going to be a line out to first base, so that's two down. And Juan Rivera is up. Wasn't the double play they were hoping for, but it was an And that's a 5-7. And that is going to be a ground ball to second. Again, Biggio is a 4. That is a 10. But it is an out. And Biggio makes the play and gets... The Astros out of the inning, but 
As you can see, after five now, the score is three to two. Hello, sports fans. We are here in the top of the sixth. And uh, for the top of the sixth, I'm going to keep the... Um, going to keep the camera stationary because I tried with the moving around and uh, you know it just didn't work for me I was sweating and I was losing my place with the lineup so we're not going to do that for the sixth to the ninth and we are in a tight 3-2 game it's still anybody's game so if I made a mistake for somebody it's still recoverable right now so I, uh, according to what my statistics say, Jeff Bagwell should be the first batter in the sixth inning for the um, Astros, who are up here in the top of the sixth. So we will, and I'm going to write down that they have two, that they have two. All right, so I'm going to make a note that it's 3-2 going into the top of the sixth and that Jeff Bagwell is the leadoff hitter for the Astros. And uh, that is a 110 and, uh, on Bagwell's card. That's going to be a strikeout. I think that is probably the first time that Bagwell has been retired in this game. And that's going to bring to the plate Orlando Palmero. And he gets a 6-6 six, six on Lackey, and that is going to be a strikeout. So the first two guys in the sixth inning for the Astros strike out, with them just ha having lost the lead and being behind 3-2. And Orlando Palmero, or no, Osmus is the new batter. And he gets an 8. That is a 5-8 on Lackey. And that is going to be a double. So you've got a base runner. And it's Osmus. And there's Osmus down at second base. And Adam Everett up. And Adam Everett gets a 1-4. And that's going to be a ground ball. Pitcher B. And the Astros are out of the inning without having scored. And we're going to the bottom of the sixth inning. Walt is still out there pitching. He's still giving it the old college try, trying to keep the uh, Angels at only the three runs that they currently ha have. And the first batter for the Angels will be Orlando Cabrera. At least that's what I believe. Could be wrong. 6-7 on Oswald is a fly ball center field. So um, he is out. Orlando Cabrera. Where is he on here? Six. That brings Steve Finley to the plate. And Steve Finley gets a 12 and a 412 on Oswald is going to be a ground ball pitcher B. So he goes out three to one. Or one to three, actually. And then uh, the batter is Sean Figgins. And Sean Figgins gets a 2 6, which is a walk. So you do have a base runner and a speedy base runner at that for the Angels. And he is going to try to steal second. And that is an eight, so he steals second. And now he is at second base with two down. And Garrett Anderson up. And he gets a 5-10. And that is going to be a catcher card. And the catcher is uh, Molina. Oh, no, no. That's the other kid. The, he is, uh, that's Osmus. And he is a 12. And a 12 and a 1, I'm going to guess, is probably an out. And it is. It's a foul out. So... Yeah, so Anderson follows out, and we will go to the, with that, we're going to go to the top of the seventh. All right, Willie Tavares is up for Houston. He gets a 4-4 four, four 
on Lackey's card, that is a ground ball, second base C, and he is out. And that brings up Biggio, Craig Biggio, part of the Phil Bees, gets a 1-4, and he is going to ground out to third base. And that is two down, and Lance Berkman, the batter. And he gets a 10, which is a 310, and it's a walk. So you've got a, uh, you do have a Houston base runner, and that is the Burke Master. And he is uh, stealing D, so he's not going anywhere. And Ensberg, yeah. and Ensberg with 26 home runs that year gets a single double asterisk. So now you got two runners on for Houston. You got this guy. The lead runner, Berkman, ready to come home at any second. And uh, there is, uh, let's see, what was that? A single, and then a single double asterisk, and then Jason Lane up with runners at the corners and two down. In a key situation, but he grounds out to third base, and that will end the threat for Houston. In the top of the seventh, we'll go to the bottom of the seventh. And Vlad Guerrero, the man who earlier gave uh, the top of the eighth, Bagwell is the hit. He's leading off again. Five, he's having a good day, too. Five for seven, or five seven on uh, Lackey's card is a ground ball to the second baseman. And the second baseman is a two, and that is a 13, so we'll see what happens on that. Probably an out, and it is an out. So Bagwell is out. And that brings up Palmero, Orlando Palmero. And he gets a 6-5, and that is on Lackey's card. And that is going to be a strikeout. And Osmus is up. And Osmus has a double today. He's got a 3-7. That is going to be a fly ball to left, though. And he is out. And the... Uh, Astros go one, two, three in a critical eighth inning for them. They only have one more inning to try to get that one run. All right, we are going to the bottom of the eighth, and there will be a new pitcher for Houston. On for Houston now is Chad Qualls. Chad Qualls in 2005 was six and four with a 328 earned run average, and he pitched 80 innings, allowed 73 hits, and struck out 60. So he's not a big strikeout guy, but he was a decent relief pitcher, and they figure Oswalt's got to be winding down. So you've got Adam Kennedy up at the plate to face him. He gets a 3-9, and that's going to be a ground ball to second, so Kennedy is out. Rivera is up. Juan Rivera. Juan Rivera gets a 2-12, and that's going to be a line out to shortstop plus injury, and it's a 12. And the uh, um, injury chart for a 12, I believe it's probably going to be the balance of the game and at least one and maybe two. Three. Batter is injured for three games. So the balance of this game and then two more. And that brings up Cabrera. So Rivera's out, and Cabrera's up at the plate. And he gets a 4-6, and 4-6 um, on Qualls is going to be a walk. So Orlando Cabrera is on base. They're not going to steal because, well, first of all, they got a lead. Second of all, they're going to, they don't want the inning to end on a guy stealing second. And Finley is up. And that is a 5-9. Five, 5-9 nine. Five, nine on Qualls is going to be a strikeout. So not a big strikeout guy, but he did do it there. And that would bring us to the top of the order for 
the Angels in the bottom of the ninth, if the bottom of the ninth is needed. But we're going to the top of the ninth right now, and the Astros have to get a run. All right, here we are, bottom of the ninth, or top of the ninth, top of the ninth for the Astros, but it might as well be the bottom of the ninth if they don't get a run. Adam Everett will lead off. The uh, pitcher for the Angels is still Lackey. Lackey is still out there. They figure that he's pitching so well, no one else could do as good as he's, he's done so far, and they might be right. That is a 1-9, and it's going to be a strikeout. Everett goes down on strikes as the first out of the ninth. And uh, that brings up Willie Tavares, who you know is going to be running if he gets on. 6-5, and 6-5 uh, on Lackey. He is going to be a strikeout, but he doesn't get the chance. He is not on base. And Will and uh, the, the uh, third batter is Biggio. Biggio has to try to get something started here. He gets a 2-7, though, and that's a fly ball left field. And he's out. And the Angels do take game one of the 2005 Sportsman Z replayed World Series. Game one goes to the Angels, but tune in, see who wins this series. Could still well be the Astros. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zalke signing off.